Hello world, I'm Mr. Space and welcome back to a brand new series on this channel and as you can see on the screen, you'll be able to see it, we're going to be managing Partisan. Why Partisan? Well, I wanted to do a kind of a youth RTG save, I mean not kind of, it is exactly a youth RTG save, but in this case, what we're going to be doing, the rules for this save are simple, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Basically, we can only use our youth players and we can only sign under 21 Serbians, so obviously the goal is to have a full Serbian side, a full young Serbian side, take them to the I mean, the glories of football, win all the cups, win all the trophies, and make it into the Champions League and potentially win the Champions League. So if you're excited for that, leave a like and subscribe. Easy. No decision there. But, so, Partizan have made an interesting decision. In the 75th season, they have decided to hire a 22-year-old, although I'm 23 now. I'm older and wiser, but, so it's fine. I should be fine, right? Anyways, Mr. Spaceman takes charge of the Chernobyl. I hope you're excited for it, because I am definitely excited for it. You will know the first of all, Partizan have amazing facilities. I've made a video about it. I made a video about hunting for Wonder Kids in Serbia, and they were one of the good teams. They were one of the teams that you don't actually need to put much money into them. They already focus on excellent training facilities. They have excellent youth facilities and beautiful, 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 excellent youth recruitment. So basically, all the best Serbians will be coming to this club, but occasionally... Hopefully, we'll have the money to steal some from the other clubs, especially Cervena Zvezda. I'm looking at you, Edinburgh. Anywho, as you can tell, they are good. They have won a lot of su Serbian Super Leagues, like a lot of Serbian Super Leagues. Won it every two years, so I guess it's long overdue now. They haven't won in three years. They have also won Yugoslav First League, which that's not going to be a problem anymore. We have also won the Serbian Cup quite often, as you can see, for the past three years. So we hopefully want to continue that. And what's perfect, not that. And what's perfect, we're going to be in the Euro Cup. So we're already in Europe, so we can start making money. We are excited for this. I, I mean, wow. Pretty much we're going to jump in straight away. We have a good team, if I'm not mistaken. We already have a great team. We have Bibros Nacho, who played for CSK Moscow. He's a beautiful, beautiful deep line playmaker. I'm excited for him. I mean, I didn't like him when he played for CSK, but, you know, that's my Spartak blood coming through. Markovic, if I'm not mistaken, used to be a wonder kid for them. Went to Olympiakos and is back on loan. How cool is that? We also have Lazar Markovic, who is a decent player, quite quick, good crossing, good dribbling, good finishing. I hopefully I want to use him. He is a Serbian international. Yeah, this is a very, very good team. I'm excited. Vanya Vlahovic is already a hot prospect at 16 years old. His physicals, his mentals are pretty good. So, what is the plan? Well, the plan is literally for us to jump in this straight away. We're going to show you what the board expects of us. And then we're going to jump and see you guys in the first game. And then I'll update you on some transfers. Like I said, you can only sign under 21 youth Serbians. Serbians, not any. We're not going to go to Brazil. We're just going to focus on Serbia. And we can then use our youth facilities. I'm excited for that. And if you're excited for that, leave in the comments. Let's go. Let me show you what the board expects. Sign higher reputation players is not going to be a thing. Which, I mean, that's good that it's not favored. Uh, do not sign players over the age of 33. Like, obviously, we're not going to have that problem. Develop players using youth club systems. Again, this is the whole point of our save. So we're going to be doing it. That makes sense. Develop players using this club youth system. It's as if they knew. It's as if they knew. Well, actually, as if we knew what we were doing when we were going to a club like this. Yes. Play attacking football. Well, of course, you know me. If you've seen my saves, that's all I do. And uh, make the most of set pieces, which I don't do. I forget about it. I never use them. I mean, if you guys think I should focus on them, because I know in real life it's important. You know, set pieces are, you know, what, what changes games, what turns games around. You know, you can, a corner or a free kick can change a lot. But I never focus on it because it's a game. It's going to be a lot of focus. But if you want to write in the comments and tell me, oh, you focus on set pieces, I will. I will make a video. I will. Well, delegate what two or three minutes of screen time and i'll show you guys look this is what i'm doing this guy will go here this guy will run here and i'll pretend to know what i'm talking about about real football cool and five-year plan we're going to be selling players for a profit which kind of we'll be doing maintain the Bethu system I, I sure hope we do work within wage budget not bad we're expected to reach the fourth qualifying round minimum hopefully win the super league hopefully and reach the final of the serbian cup right so we are expected to be one of the most dominant teams. Yeah, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's go. I will see you guys in the first game back. That's not a friendly. Let's go. Welcome back to the first ever game of this series. We're going to be taking on Chukarički in the first game of the Serbian Super League in my first game as a manager. Hopefully Partizan cannot let me down. We will be able to win against Chukarički. Chukarički is okay. They're not a difficult team. They're not a hard team. 
I mean, compared to everyone, we are one of the best. You know, the only team that should, in theory, cause us problems is Red Star. But apart from that, Partizan is the best team. But let me just update you on some transfers, and then I'll show you the squad. So, in terms of transfers, we have a few transfers and a few transfers coming through. First of all, the big guy that we signed is Alexa Pecic, another 21 ball-winning midfielder, who is quite good. So he's got decent tackling, decent marking, good positioning, uh, beautiful mentals. He's very, very good mentally, which is very, very good for a young player. Decent mentals. So if he can improve his technicals a bit more, he'll be the perfect ball-winning midfielder. And he's a, he's a perfect backup. He's a perfect backup for now, for 600k, with a lot of potential to grow. I think he's quite a good player. On the outs, to balance the financial fair play, because before this buy, I guess, we had 700k. And, well, positive FFP. And so we needed some players to go out. So the big guy that left is Rajko Brzanic, who is apparently one of our own. He started his career for us, playing with Partizan. Hasn't played too many games. And, I mean, had a decent career, not gonna lie. He's been all around Europe, Serbia, Holland, Spain. Came back and is now playing in Russia for 400k. I am okay with that. He was okay. I wanted to let some of the youngsters play. He's 30 years old. I got him off quite a significant wage. For 400k, I'm happy to let him go. Another guy who is apparently a legend, well, not really a legend, is Milan Smijanic, who left for 65k. Again, a decent player, but he's 33 year old. I'm trying to youthify the squad. I mean, the people, the players were annoyed a little bit about me selling him because he's a leader. I felt a little bit bad, but I just wanted to get rid of as many old players to give space for the young ones. So, what's the tactic I'm going for today and who are the players I'm going to pick today? So, this is the team I'm going for. Let me go through it in case you don't know most of these players. As you can see, a lot of these guys, I'm pretty sure no one in this team is someone I signed. So, all of them will have been at the squad when I joined. So, we're going to start with a legend, a Serbian legend, Vladimir Stojkovic, who is amazing. He's a really good player. He started at Lonzica, played a Red Star. Boo. But then he joined us. Good job. Smart man. Played for a while then went away, then played for us again. He is a very, very good keeper. And at 37 years old, I clicked off him. I'm stupid. He is very, very good. A great leader, high determination, a little bit slow, but he's 37 and he's a keeper, so you don't need that. Beautiful, beautiful goalkeeper. Hopefully, he can keep it up and give us time to develop another guy to replace him because we probably won't be able to sign anyone of his level. Left back, we're going to have Jurosevic, who has played one game already for the Serbian national team. He is okay. Good marking, good tackling. Needs to learn how to cross, and apparently can play on the wing with bad crossing. Okay. Uh, physicals are beautiful. Mentals are beautiful. He's good. He is good. In the middle, we're going to have Banyak, who is a decent ball-playing midfielder. Actually, a very decent ball-playing midfielder. Good passing, good vision. Great first touch. Wow, I'm happy with that. That is very, very good. Next him, we're going to have Vujacic, who is a decent player. I don't know why he was picked to be the ball-playing defender, because he is uh, slightly worse, so I'll switch him around. But very good physically, very quick, actually, so that's kind of good. Let's rotate him. No one saw that. Markovic. So, I don't know what to do with the right-back position. We have some players coming through. We have some injuries, but he's going to be playing at right-back today. I'm going to experiment. Maybe I'll move him back in the center. I know he's a center-back. He's a very good center-back, but... I just wanted to play him because I want to play him. That's all. Uh, I mean, he can do the job. He's not worse than, what's his name, uh, Jurosevic on the left. But yeah, stay tuned for Markovic. I hope I can buy him at the end of the season. Bibras Nacho, I showed a very good deep line playmaker. Zdeljar, who is a very, very good ball winning midfielder, actually. Good mentals, beautiful physicals, marking, tackling. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, man. On the left, we're going to have Suma cutting in. Very, very good player. I think beautiful dribbling, good first touch, good flair, very good physically. He's going to be scoring a lot of goals this year. In the middle, we are going to have Stevanovic, Filip Stevanovic, one of our own, literally one of our own, joined Man City this season and then went back to Partizan on loan. I think he's very, very good. If I can keep loaning him and hopefully City continues loaning him to me, this will be a very, very good signing. If so, I like him. He's very, very good at 17. He is indeed a wonder kid. On the right, we're going to have Lazar Markovic. He's going to be cutting in with his right foot, even though he's on the right, so he'll be using his left. But I'm okay with this. Maybe I'll use him as a winger. We don't really have a good left-footed left, left -footed player, if I'm not mistaken. Asano is also right-footed, which is sad. And up front, Bahebek, who's very quick, good at dribbling, good at finishing. He will be our main striker for this game. I'm excited. I think this is a very good lineup. I guess notable mentions is Asano. 
and he's very, 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 very good, very quick. But we have a rule, maximum of four foreigner players only, which is not going to be a problem soon. Well, hopefully in the next few years, because, yeah, because we're going to be getting rid of as many foreigners as we can, and we're going to be only signing Serbians. So, other players of note, Pavlovic. Just look at that. He is amazing. He's actually very, very good. Lazar Pavlovic. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of chances here. And apart from that, I think Bojat is going to be the backup right back who is at 16 already looking quite fine. I guess... I mean, nah. Markovic is already better than this guy. And on the left, we have Korkovic. Backup, a very decent backup. So stay tuned for him. Right. If a lot of these players I will kind of mention as the season goes. But yeah, let's just jump into our first game. Hopefully we can be beat... Chukarichki? Chukarichki? Let's go! Hopefully, this 3D will work because I am trying to do something different. I want to go back to using 3D, so I'm going to break this up into three pieces. I think three different cuts, but Stevanovic is on the ball. Markovic, that's a good counter, lads. And that's a beautiful counter! Lazar Markovic on the first minute. You know what? This Partizan team is quite well, quite well, quite good. I don't know how to speak, do I? Also, I just realized I am wearing black. And uh, this was not on purpose. I just felt like wearing black, and now I realize... We're playing as a team, Partizan, who's black and white. So, hey, good choice of shirt and a good choice of a finish. Lazar Markovic showing that he is quite good. Maybe not Liverpool level, but definitely Partizan level. Suma plays it off straight away. Stevanovic. Suma back in. Was that a back heel? Markovic, jeez. And there's a counter. Ooh, that is very not good. Mijalovic plays it through. We need to be careful. Markovic playing at center back, right back. He's everywhere. Sushanovic slowly kicking the ball to the right. Beautiful. Okay, that was an interesting highlight. And also, Red Star have scored pretty much identically to us. They're trying to show that they're not bad either. Vibor Snacho, Stevanovic, plays it to the left, please. I This is a very good team. Weird. Nacho with 16 passing did that stupid pass. Where's the left back? Uh, they're actually countering quite significantly, quite at pace. Beautiful tap. You what, mate? That was like the most perfect tackle. I call that was definitely bribes. Red Star is already bribing. I have to talk to Edinburgh FM because that's just a beautiful save by the by the legend. Uh, Edinburgh FM's cheating did not come to play. You know, if you don't know, go check out his channel. He's doing a save of Red Star. Boo. So yeah, I'll be popping the link hopefully up there if I don't forget it. But yeah, we have scored a goal. We have saved a penalty. And... Um, yeah, let's praise the players for amazingness for now. But I do want a little bit more. Chukarichki is not a bad team, but at the same time, I want to be doing better. We're now dropped to fifth. Pantic. I'm pretty sure it's an ex-Chelsea man. And we are countering, even though we're not a countering team. Well, at least I didn't set us to be like that. But with the pace we have, I think counters are going to be the way to go. Markovic. Markovic. Somebody call 911 because... What is it? Call the ambulance, but not for me. For Chukarichki, Markovic is absolutely insane. Bachebek, our center attacking player, a striker is the word I was looking for. Beautiful cross. This is what happens when you have a winger playing as a striker. Turns out he can cross. Although I think it's at right foot only. Not bad. 2-0 and we're still six somehow. No, we're third now. Okay, good. Hopefully... I mean, we're not having any frame drops. If we are, I will be very sad. And then I'll be switching back to 2D. But 3D is the way to go. Stevanovic, once again, counter. I, I like how I'm trying to like... I mean, to be fair, when you're playing Gengar Press, this is the way to go. I think Gengar Press for this team is perfect. We are the Liverpool of Serbia. Zdejar. Ooh, Petrovic saves. Beautiful, beautiful save. Okay, Red Star scoring three goals. We need to be competing with them and scoring way more goals. But to be fair, I, I can't complain. 2-0 and we saved a penalty. Although it was a dodgy penalty. I'm on to you, Edinburgh. I'm on to you. Look at that. 2-0. Great, great start. I mean, I would like to think that this is only as high because of the penalty shout. And yeah, fair enough. Right, hopefully you didn't notice that transition. So I keep resetting my... I guess recording, so I'm gonna have blocking blocking this off because I noticed that I have a lot of drop frame rates, frame drop rates, and it desyncs with this. So basically, there's gonna be a point where I go uh, and then make a weird sound, and then uh, the audio does not match. 
the video. And that's very, very annoying to edit. But we're not going to see anything else cool, so I might as well not have clicked on the screen or recording. It's time for some subs. I think... You know what's funny? I wanted to take off Stevanovic at first because we want to get... What's his name? Pavlovich? A game time? Some game time? But we're going to do this. Good Pavlovich. And I think Markovic is going to go instead of Vucevic. Vucevic. And we're going to play Bojat. Right? Or Zivkovic. Ooh, I don't know. And we're also going to play Korkovic. Wow, I need to remember these names because I think currently I'm just reading this off. I think it's quite good. Triple sub, Bojat, Korkovic, and Pavlovic. Pretty much, what, 18, 16, and 17-year-olds? Very, very good. I'm going to praise the players. Hopefully, you get to see more highlights. And if not, my recording is going to be happy. It's not going to crash. A very, very good performance. 2-0. We've done what we needed to do. Chukarichki stood no chance. There we go. 2-0 in our first game. I am very, very happy with this. Markovic is on a different level. I think he's a god. Um, maybe Liverpool will be calling me back and stealing him again. But that was a very, very good win. I'm very happy with it, obviously. 2-0. I hope you guys are happy. You know, And if you haven't put a like yet because of this win, our debut win, do it so now. And subscribe. I'm going to be doing some more Partizan because these guys are good. And maybe they deserve more of my time. But, wow. Bahebek, very, very good debut. Uh, Banyak, also quite a decent debut. I am very, very happy with this. Markovic is on form. Two goals. Beautiful plays, actually. Some very beautiful plays. Right. So what's the plan? If this game is going to be very easy, so we're going to pick like a... I don't know. I don't know who we can get in the first qualifying round. I assume no one good. If we pick like a random crappy team, uh, we're not going to do that one. But maybe the next game could be the Red Star game. Huh? How about that? So if we get a big team... We will do this one. If not, we're going to do the Red Star. So yeah, which one are you excited for? Write in the comments. Right. Real last thing. Before I go, though, I am thinking. And it's not quite often that I think on this channel. But we need to be doing some more transfers. I have some money. Granted, the FFP is not happy with me. So I'm currently thinking every position is quite decent. I think maybe I need to look for a right back. Every other position seems to be pretty much in a good place i think we have we're very good on wingers we're very good in midfield so yeah right back is pretty much the only place because i think yurosevic can hold on the fourth left back and korkovic is very very good as well he's the next big thing coming through you know if he can improve his positioning teamwork and just a smidge of his mentals i think he'll be very very good left back but i think bojat is not yet ready i could be wrong though i i don't know what do you guys think is he good who do I even compare him to? Uh, let's compare him to Yurosevich. I, I don't know. Yeah, no. Bojet is not ready. Bojet is not ready. Right. So that's the plan. We're hopefully going to be looking for our right back. We hopefully will be taking on either a good team here or Red Star and hopefully putting them back in their place. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like and comment. To tell me if you're excited for the series. You know, you can say yes or no. I don't mind. And subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more of this. I'm excited. Tigers of Asia is going on Twitch. So go check it out. Go follow me. I will have links below, hopefully. Don't check out Edinburgh FM's channel. Don't check out his Red Start save. Again, I, po I put the thingy there and I'm going to put a link below just because whatever. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.